It's the shark. Got cups on my... Oh, sweet Jesus. Got cups on my ears. This is for you, John Gritfish. What, 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 what? <laughs> the very first console that I ever owned was a Sega Master System 2, which my parents bought for me and my brothers. It came with Alex Kidd built in, and from the moment I heard that nauseatingly cheerful, repetitive riff, I was hooked. I remember every single game I owned on that little black box of joy. Lemmings, Teddy Boy, Ghost House, Zillion, they were great. But there was one game I owned that has recently been brought back to life in the form of a remake. My favourite game of all time, in fact. So when I heard about the project to bring the wonder back to gaming, I legit almost cried. You can imagine how excited I am to be reviewing, finally, Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. Released on the 18th of April for the PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch, coming to Steam in June, and created by Lizardcube and .emu, Dragon's Trap is an incredibly faithful remake of Wonder Boy 3, originally released in 1989. It manages to recapture perfectly the mesmerizing, minimalist story of the hero cursed to a furry fate, trying to regain their humanity and save the land from the rule of the evil dragons in the process. At the same time, the experience has been updated with the gorgeous hand-painted scenery and inspiring symphonic arrangements of the original 8-bit tracks. Although, if you want to play the game how it used to be, there are options to switch back to the retro mode whenever you like. Accessibility-wise, Wonder Boy is pretty good, although it does have some room for improvement that will hopefully be delivered in the Steam version. One of the biggest boons that the remake has brought is the choice between three difficulty levels when starting a new game, which allows Dragon's Trap to be experienced by gamers of a much wider variety of skill levels than the original, and it's something that a lot of games really neglect to include even now. There have also been some significant quality of life improvements from the original that make the overall experience much more accessible. Changes like the addition of a health bar to the boss dragons, the removal of charm stones as a gaining mechanic for the most part for upgrade purchases, and the changing of a potentially epilepsy inducing red blue flashing form change animation to a single lightning bolt are all welcome. As for flaws, the biggest thing I would love to see is the ability to customise your controls, although I'm hoping that this is at least included in the PC release later this year. It would also be nice to know precisely when the game saves, as there is no autosave icon and no indication about whether the player has to actually do anything to save their process. Diversity is also something that Lizard Cube has taken to heart. Although the original game was called Wonder Boy, and the titular hero was definitely male, the new incarnation allows the player to choose between either Wonder Boy or Wonder Girl when they start a new game. What is great is that making this choice changes not only the sprite of the hero, but also the name of the game itself, along with the title screen and several other art assets. As excited as I was to finally re-experience the Wonder Boy from my childhood, I was even more excited to be able to play through as Wonder Girl. It was a simple addition that makes a world of difference. If you're a fan of old school 2D action adventure platformers with a story that is largely constructed by the player's imagination as they push through the action, then you're going to love Wonder Boy. It's 30 Australian dollars on consoles right now, and if you want to play my favourite game of all time, which is a big claim, I know, then you should definitely pick it up. I don't know what that means. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing copyright infringement. Hey everybody and welcome to The Quiz, where I have a special quiz participant, Sam. Sam has his own YouTube channel, which I will link to up in the corner up there. And we're very time poor, so I'm going to explain the rules. Sam, I'm going to ask you 12 questions, and you have a minute and a half to answer those 12 questions. And you have to not get the answer correct, you have to get the answer wrong. So I'm going to give you multiple choices, and you have to say the wrong one. If you get them wrong, you have to start again and go if from the bottom. If I get them wrong, it, wait, do I have to get them right? right? If you get them right, you have to start again If you get it right, and in doing so, get it wrong. Yes. 
Okay, are you ready? Yeah, do you need 90 seconds? Good, we're going to start a 90 second timer, so there's going to be a cut. Sport or religion? What is parkour? Uh, religion. Squirrels or hackers? What causes more IT systems outages? Squirrels. Sport or religion? What is what? parkour? Religion. Hackers. Squirrels. Helium or nitrogen? What is used to make ice cream? Uh, helium. Karate or karaoke, which means empty hand in Japanese? Karaoke. Scotland or Ireland, where do leprechauns come from? Scotland. Chocolate or childhood, what lasts forever in Neverland? Chocolate. Mushrooms or moles, what causes fairy rings? Well, not mushrooms, the other one. <laughs> Good moles. Sprite or Pepsi, what is X-Men character Kitty Pride's first codename? Uh, Pepsi. Car or cookie, what is an iced Vovo? Uh, car. Judas or Jamie? Who do Christians believe believe Jamie. to Jamie? Good. Hippocratic or hypochondriac? What oath do doctors hypochondriac. take? Hypochondriac. Last question. Ugh. Are you ready? Peppermint or Maltese? What type of falcon is in the title Peppermint. of the... Congratulations, you won the quiz! You got 12 questions wrong. Would you like a bonus question? Too bad, there's not one. Okay. That was great! You did great! Thank the time you. is about to go off. So everyone, congratulate Sam and go check out his channel, which is the prize you get for winning! Bye! Yeah, I did the thing in time. Got cups on my ears. This is weird. I'm like... Proper sideways and all. Got cups on my ears. No, I don't. Ah, I'm going